Hey guys, it's Chantel here. How are you going? Um, I believe I have solved most of the problem with this camera, so it's still a little, you know, not fantastic, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, now, housekeeping first. We still have a bit of noise going around. Um, the, the boys in the factory have got so much work on, it's crazy. So you're gonna be hearing beeping and all sorts of stuff happening. Um, because I'm not soundproofed here. Uh, the aircon is pumping hard because as of this morning, when I came in just before 8.30, it was already 30 degrees. So it is stinky hot. Um, and so, you know, it is, it's totally crazy. Um, totally, totally crazy. So it's been, uh, it's, so I've tried to keep the noise down. I don't have a fan near the microphone. Um, anything like that so I'm really sorry so let me know obviously if you can hear me um, if you can see me if you can see the second camera um, but uh, yeah it's one of those uh, crazy crazy instances where it's it's just you know I can't do anything more at the moment um, there's a few things I can do that it, that you can't it's uh, you can't see around me, but I could put some soundproofing up on the walls. So I'm I'm going to be trying some of those sort of options because it's a bit echoey and the sound bounces in and out. So I think we'll work on some of those sorts of things. So, oops, what's my wrist doing? Um, but yeah, uh, what have we got in the chat here? Good morning to everybody who's oh just bang the desk. Good morning to everybody who's in the chat. We've got some locals to Brisbane all talking about how hot it is. It is, seriously, if I could bottle some of this heat and send it to our, to our Northern Hemisphere friends who are going through intense cold winters, I would absolutely do it. I would drill a hole straight through the center and, uh, and definitely make sure that they would get some of this warmth um, thank you, Laura. I appreciate you letting me know that you can that you can uh, hear and see me. That's great. Um, you've got three degrees in the UK. See, we need to send Zoe some of our warmth, guys. It is crazy, crazy hot. Um, you need to. Kim says you need to weave some tapestries and knit stuff to hang on the walls. Yeah, it's it's. I honestly thought because this was a yarn room that the yarn would do it, but I think I'm going to have to do some proper soundproofing. Um, there's a lot of glass and things like that, so I'll sort it out. You know, it takes time. It takes time. Um, we have prizes today. We have some prizes. So we have, if you can see in the camera here, not everything in this camera is a prize. I just want to point that out. Um, we have a beautiful skein of Milky Way in its natural, undyed, honey golden color. We have the prize that we crashed before we could give away last week which was a packet of fuchsia blinglets and a blue Nancy's Knickknacks Notions case. And we also have a beautiful 50 gram hank of 50% yak, 50% tussa silk. It's my Nova blend and it's delicious. Um, so yeah, so we'll be giving those away. You aren't giving away, no, I'm not giving away my hand. Also, I'm not giving away my beanie. Um, I finished something, you guys. I actually finished it all ends woven in, or at least I think that everything's done. So I'm really, really happy. So I made a beanie for myself. It's the Sawdad, S-A-U-D-A-D-E, -A -A -E, I think, from um, Yusold Teague. It's fantastic pattern. Looks tricky, but you're only working with two colors at a time. Um, Snyder Spindle says, well, I thought a lace club would be something different. Well, I'm, I don't, I'm not going there. I'm not going where my brain just went. Anyway, it's not to say that's where your brain went. Um, hooray for a finished object. I'm yet to get one for 2018. Yeah, this is my total first finished object for 2018. Uh, and in all honesty, it's likely to be the last. I'm very bad at finishing objects. Uh, <laughs> Um, so you guys, I'm not sure if you all know Scott Snyder from Snyder Spindles. He has an amazing YouTube channel where you can go and see him make spindles, which is fantastic. I love his spindles. I've got a Turkish uh, with T-Rexes cut into it 
and uh, what else have I got? I've got a Dilgan, I probably said that wrong, and uh, another Turkish. So I've got to get my hands on some more of his spindles and I highly recommend you getting your hands on his spindles as well. We've also got It's Crochet O'Clock here. Um, Stephanie has another amazing YouTube channel all about crochet and amazing tutorials. So if you wanna go and check those out, I would totally recommend that you guys jump over not now, later. Later, you need to do it later. <laughs> but get in and and, uh, and get in and subscribe to both those channels. They're good friends and they are wonderful people who work really hard here on YouTube and in life in general. Now, um, the Lace Club. I was going to leave that until a bit later, but it's been brought up, so I may as well talk about it. Um, the Mystery Lace Club is in its final... Uh, Preparations is probably the best term to put it. I've been talking with lots of amazing designers who are okaying our use of their patterns. Um, now, uh, to be very, very clear, these will not be step through tutorials like what we do, well, uh, like what we did with the socks. This is just a straight out, um, uh, straight out uh, kit sort of setup. So each month uh, you'll receive the yarn, the pattern, and then if it needs beads, what have you, all of that will be in. It'll basically be a wind your balls of yarn and pull out your needles and get started. Um, so I'm going to be doing um, a lot of prep for that. It'll be set up as a subscription. So what that means is uh, over on the Fibrific uh, web, web store, website, web, web, web something, um, I will set up an actual PayPal subscription so that those of you not in Australia can still get involved. Um, it'll be uh, for Australians and New Zealanders, it'll be $50 a month, including your postage. Everyone else overseas, I'll have to double check some things, but I think it's about an extra $15 Australian dollars, that is, this is all in Australian dollars, an extra 15 Australian dollars a month for your postage just to cover it because it's, you know, 23 odd dollars to post to the US. Um, but anyway, so that's the plan and it will be fun and I'll have extra little bonuses for people who stick around longer and who don't uh, quit. Um, my system is playing up here. I'm going crazy. Kim says, but what if we can't knit lace? Well, this will be the perfect opportunity to learn. While I'm not going to be doing step-by-step -step tutorials of the patterns, if it, comes no if it becomes noticeable that there's a, a particular stitch that's stumping people, then I'll totally do a tutorial on a stitch. But these are people's patterns, they're paid for patterns, they're not free patterns. And so I'm totally going to be respecting people's copyright. Um, that's the last thing you want to get known for in this industry. So where are we at? Let me have a look here. We've got lots of new people. Good morning, Nerdy Stitcher and Tammy. Uh, we've got lots of friends hanging out. Now I know that my stream is not fantastic. So I'm very sorry to everybody if it's just that bit glitchy today. Not a lot I can do. We've got a bit of rain fade happening here. We've got some serious clouds happening as well. Um, so yeah, so we've got the universe conspiring against the stream today. As usual, it's, it's always the case, right? We, we can't have a stream that just starts out with audio, audio and doesn't crash or it's gotta be something. It's how it works. It's absolutely how it works. So this particular, um, Nova fiber that I've got here, the, the Yak Tussa Silk, this is a prime candidate for support spindling or drop spindling, uh, probably more support spindling. You want something to have nice long draw um, because it's a really nice, most of it's fairly short fibers. So it's it's really nice for those good uh, long drawers and things like that. Um, well, hang on a second, yes. Oh, Kim says she paid for someone else to wash her car so today it's going to rain. That's, that's good to know. So I'll sh my car's parked out in the street and Tim washed it on the weekend. So again, it's gonna to rain to, to mess it all up. Oh, I'm a bit hypo today. Um, I feel like I was like, okay, so everything's set up and I still had 10 minutes to spare and all sorts of things. So I've, I've got water, I've got coffee, I've got prizes. Um, Nerdy Stitcher says, I want a supported spindle so badly. Well, uh, I believe that 
Scott Snyder might be able to help you out with that. Um, you're because def- you're in the US as well, which is nice. So you guys can send messages on Facebook or, or Etsy. Scott has an Etsy store as well. So just grabbing some coffee. Hmm. Now I've got, tried to remember all the things. I've got a checklist, and I'm trying to remember to make sure that I'm doing all the things. So you know, the lights are on. The camera was checked. I got drinks. So Natasha finally made it to her first live chat in ages. Hi, Natasha. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Um, So one thing I wanted to, we've had a quick discussion about the Lace Club. I'll bring it up again towards the end for those of you that missed it. Um, But one thing I want to talk about is this book. It's the Fleece and Fibre Source book. Now... Um, It is one of those books that I think anybody who spins or knits or crochets or does anything to do with yarn um, needs to have this book because it helps you to understand. I mean, on the cover, it's got sheep, goats, alpacas, llamas, vicuñas, camels, bison, muskox, yaks, and more. So it's not just about sheep's fleece. But what I really love about it is each, I'm not going to show you any, well, yeah, I'll show you a page. Um, Each page, actually, I think it's every two pages, you'll get a picture of the the animal, a blurb about the animal, then you'll get some facts about that animal and also ways to process it, and then also different things that it's suited better for. So while a fleece may be awesome for knitting up a slinky lace shawl it may not be very good for uh, making socks out of Um, so it's a really really good book to help people understand that while merino is beautiful and soft it tends to peel when you wear it so it makes it so you can understand even your commercially bought yarns that you're buying you can be looking at the fiber contents that you've got and you can sort of get a better idea of what can be used for what projects and be more successful because at the end of the day we're all putting hundreds of hours into these projects um um, yeah so putting hundreds and hundreds of hours into our projects and then realizing that after like six or seven wears of a jumper it's peeling to death but it's so squishy and soft but it doesn't have the strength oh i thought i muted that i'm sorry um but it doesn't have the strength to sort of withstand life which at the end of the day we want our projects to withstand us using them they're not just going to be sitting on a bench um allegra says that would be really handy for figuring out how to use some of the really fancy fiber blends that i spin up absolutely because you know especially things like yak and silk and bison And what have you depending like it's sometimes it's good to work out before you spin them as well it talks about different spinning techniques that creates different advantages and it makes it so you can understand how to get the most out of these fibers as well Um, I've got a link in the bits down below um, to my Amazon store so if you want to go and have a look it's it's available there Um, but it's one of those I don't even remember where I bought mine from I don't think I don't know where I got it from it's not it's heavy okay so if they wherever you get it from if you're not buying it from a local bookstore you're going to be charged some serious postage but it's totally worth it I mean this book has got 438 pages and it's all really really important information talks about mulesing and crosses and you know the different alpaca blends like everything you totally need to get it you totally need to get it. Um, what have we got? I'm just going to have a little scroll through the chat. Uh, I'll need to go to the correct page to do that, not try and scroll on that screen. Okay. Um, did I have time to play with my white balance? I did. See, look, my skin is pink. Um, then I've got uh, a soundproofing my studio. No, my studio is not soundproofed. Sorry about that, guys. Um, here we go Uh, Natasha says that book looks awesome I'm on a knowledge build year Um, you have mentioned this book at a perfect time for me oh I'm glad to hear that that's fantastic Um, 
uh, kind of like roving knit blankets, pretty but useless. Oh my gosh, don't even start me about those roving blankets. I've been asked more times than I care to make them and I refuse and then I get asked by people who should know better where to source the roving from and I'm just, I shake my head. I don't know what the deal is. Designers don't think. Um, where are we? Kim's written, except for the shawl I finished for you, it will be purely decorative. That is totally true. But if I wasn't allergic to alpaca, then it wouldn't be totally decorative, I'm sure. Um, I missed something. Nerdy Stitcher made a roast with mushroom gravy. Oh my gosh, yes. I agree with Kim. If it wasn't a bazillion degrees, I would be tempted. Oh dear. Uh, uh, Kim's saying, oh sorry, no, I meant finding out the fleece would be good for soundproofing your studios. <laughs> Sorry, Kim, I, t I understand now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um, so just so that you know, the internet speed has dropped yet again. So um, we, we've, uh, we're, we're getting a little bit glitchy, but there's nothing I can really do. We just got to hold on and hope it hangs on. Um, Tammy says, sorry to be off topic, but what's everyone doing for Australia Day um, craft wise? Uh, I'll probably just be hanging out in my air conditioned house being a complete no, like a complete Nigel No Friends uh, knitting. I have actually, I'm going to be knitting myself a jumper. I know I've never done it. I didn't think I would do it because I don't really have much call for them, but I really, really uh, get cold when I go to Bendigo. So I'm thinking of making myself a jumper. It is another Yisolda Teague. This was my foray into Yisolda's patterns to see how I felt about them. And the, the result is I love them. Um, so I'm going to be trying out a jumper. It's a chickadee, I think is the name of it. It's got little chicks in the yoke and but the rest of it's quite plain so that's good for me um so we've got tara who's jumped in saying i'm he i'm here but listening because i'm driving i'm glad that you're not trying to chat too often while you're driving kirby's made it to a live stream welcome kirby kirby's been hitting the after uh the replays and keeps missing them so welcome to the stream kirby um Kim says, don't use Merino because it pills or so I've heard. Yeah, look, I love Merino and I love Merino a lot, but I probably would not knit a jumper out of it. In saying that, I'll be using some Debbie Bliss Cash Merino that's in my stash. But because I'm not going to be wearing the jumper all the time, it was a decision that I made knowing the limitations of cashmere and Merino, both of them pill. But because I'll wear it maybe one week a year, I think I'll be okay. Um, Marinda Vernon says hi. Hi Marinda, how are you going? Medina. Medina, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm very bad at reading, it seems. Um, so we should totally do our first giveaway. So we're going to be giving away this set of blinglet stitch markers. Oops, we'll go up here. Size small in fuchsia and a Nancy's Knickknacks bright blue notions case. So to win this one, I would like to know What's your next project that you're going to work on? Whether it's knitting, crochet, spinning, whatever, let us know what you're gonna work on. We might get some inspiration from each other to jump into our next projects. Um, I'm, in a, I'm in a disgustingly hot Queensland summer and I'm knit, going to start knitting a jumper this week. Um, I have cheated and I've just dyed up a cut, bit of the accent yarn that I need for it and so, uh, I will be using up lots of the cash merino that I have. So that will be my next big project. I'm still finishing off a couple of others, but that's my next one to start. Who knows when I'll finish it. Uh, Kim says, I have to make a crochet blanket for a wedding present and she has six weeks. Well, luckily you can listen to these sorts of videos and crochet at the same time. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it can be done. I crocheted a, a full gown in crochet cotton in three weeks. You can do a blanket in six, come on. Have some faith in yourself. Um, Tammy says, I would love to try a beanie for Bendigo knitted. Well, Tammy, you'll have to come and play and we will totally get you going. Um, a crochet along called Arizona I'll be filming the tutorials for. It's a blanket from Crochet O'Clock. We might have to go over and have a look at that for sure. And Natasha says, I'm keeping in the festive spirit and attempting an Arn and Carlos Christmas ball. 
Those balls are fantastic. I've made a couple of them and I try to make one a year to add it to the tree. I miss this year. <laughs> um, Kim says, I, but then I can't type and you know how much I love to type. We all know how much you love to type. Um, let me just, oh, I'm trying to scroll back on the wrong screen again. Let's have a look here. We've got lots of comments. It's fantastic. Barbara's wants to do a Vogue helmet hat of white tweed wool. Very intricate. Oh, I might have to have a look at that. Um, Medina is doing a crochet blanket for her unborn grandbaby. Fantastic. Uh, Snyder's, uh, Scott Snyder's doing a chunky granny square blanket. You'd be keeping warm while you're doing that, I bet. Um, Andrea's going to be using some beautiful yarn that she won from somewhere to make a shawl. Tamantha's frogging the sleeves of a cardi. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I can't keep up. You're all commenting so such good things. Uh, Nerdy Stitcher says uh, she's crazy. Oh, I'm scrolling the wrong way. She's cast on a hat yesterday. Patchwork project bag. Tyra's. I'm trying to knit the Stephen West leggings as a gift for a friend for next Christmas. Well, I'm glad you've given yourself plenty of time. Um, Angie's thinking of doing a Wonder Woman shawl for Bendigo this year. There's so many amazing things. Um, Tara's going to be knitting a pair of socks very soon, maybe a fish lips kiss heel. I haven't tried that one. I've seen it and I've heard things, but I have not tried it. Um, a nerdy stitcher is taunting us, taunting, I tell you, with tales of how good her mushroom gravy is. But I don't believe her. There's no proof. There's no proof that it's good. It could be horrible. And she's going, mmm, mushroom gravy, great. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know the tone in the message. Um, Tara says, oh, she's not driving at the moment. I'm glad to hear that, Tara. Okay, so the winner of this first little pack of goodies is going to be um, Angie Shepherd. Angie Shepherd, who is, hang on, thinking of doing a Wonder Woman show shawl for Bendigo. So, Angie, I need you to send me your uh, postal address. I'm writing your name down so I don't forget um because that's never happened before um so yeah so we'll get that out to you i'll just drop back to my other screen um i can't i can't can't trust what your husband says either nerdy i totally can't kirby says gravy in general is heavenly <laughs> that's true i know i'm just trying to downplay the gravy because it's just so meltingly hot here right now Oh, stop it, you guys, with the gravy on the chips. It's the best thing. So, yeah, so Angie, so if you message me directly to through Facebook, then I know, uh, not Facebook, oh, what am I saying? YouTube, message me directly through YouTube or at a pinch if you send me an email to sales at fibrific.com.au. I'll get these to you after I get your address. So uh, what else are we going to talk about? We've got so many things. Obviously, you can see I've gone really far on rescaining all the yarn be behind me. It hasn't happened at all. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I was skeining off more yarn to dye, and I've only got you know limited skeining equipment. I can't skein everything at once, but I do want to get all these pretties up on the website for you all to, to you know possibly purchase because rent. Um, let me see. Kirby says on a hot day, have some icy cold lemonade or iced tea while you knit and crochet. Totally, totally. In saying that, I have a coffee because coffee? Mmm. Colour pooling agar cowl in teals and blues and white. Mmm. Kim says it's just so pretty you should just leave it there until you need to sell it or replace it. See, that's the problem, Kim. They need to be re-skained before I can photograph them to put them on the website to sell them. I can't just stick a big photo of that going A, B, C, D. I mean, I've done that before, but I don't want to do that again. Nerdy homemade lemonade is always the nicest. It is, and I have a lemon tree. It's great. Um, I also tend to make up these big things, two litre jugs of iced tea using purchased tea leaves. Um, like a, like one of them fruity, really fruity ones that you'd never drink the tea, or at least I would never drink the tea of. Um, and then I would uh, add two teaspoons of, or two tablespoons of raw sugar, and then chill it right down and fill it up with water. And it's just, it's, 
it's weak it's not strong but it's definitely it's very refreshing that's the important thing on a hot day right it's got to be refreshing um Drinking hot drinks when it's hot outside is smart. Bring your inner temp up and it doesn't feel so hot on the outside anymore. Oh, thanks, Crochet Clock. I love being told I'm smart. It's great. Um, sun tea is the best perfect weather for it too. Yeah, sun tea is great. Um, I'm jealous you have a lemon tree. Well, I, I also have a uh, lime tree, a mandarin tree, a lemonade tree, which is like a sweet eating lemon. And then uh, what else have I got? I've got... Uh, what are they called? They're little mini cherry guavas. That's it. That's the trees. I used to have a tangerine tree, but it died because the neighbors over the back won't prune their trees and took all the sunlight and it killed it. Um, Tara says a cheeseburger place in Wisconsin. Oh, it's Culver's. Okay, yes. Um, Brazilians drink hot coffee. That's true. They totally do. They totally do. But yes, fruit trees are the bomb diggity. Um, Kim says, I have dead grass. Uh, I tend to, I let the grass die in summer. I really do. I don't water it. It's very tragic, but I will water the fruit trees. Everything else will die. All the gardens will die, everything. But I will water the fruit trees because it took me a long time to grow them enough to get actual fruit. I've got an avocado tree in the front yard that's now about five years old that still hasn't fruited yet, so... You know, Nerdy says, I can grow. Oh, you guys, stop it with the bacon cheeseburgers. I started a diet today. There's no bacon cheeseburgers on my diet. Ah, dry some lemon slices and send them to me in a tin. <laughs> no, I can't. I really can't. Um, oh, you guys are horrible. You're doing that. I drink my coffee. Mm. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you think you would be interested in making a hat like this? This sword ad hat? Because I'm thinking that I'm going to make another one. I really like it. I'm going to make it in different colours. I'm thinking purple and blue with the greys. Um, it, it takes 8 to 10 years for avocados for it, yeah. That's why we're still waiting and haven't taken to it with an axe yet. Um, I have an avocado tree, but it's a houseplant. <laughs> yep. Um, all the talk of food has reinforced my choice in lunch today. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So yeah, so I'm totally going to make another beanie. Um, what else have I got? This I've got so many things planned. Hi, Alba. How are you going? Um, so many, so many things planned and coming up. And some of them are totally um, secret. So I can't tell you what they are yet. And it's, it's a horrible because I'm like, I want to tell you all the things, but I can't. So all you can know about is the, the Mystery Lace uh, mystery lace Yarn Club that will be coming out. Each month you will get a pattern, everything you require to make that pattern, except for your needles. Um, you can obviously buy those if you want, but you will not get them in the kit. But everything else is in there now. When I say lace, it's not always lace weight yarn, but the pattern will always have lace in it. At this stage, all the patterns are predominantly knitting. In saying that, I am working on getting some crochet patterns in as well. Um, so for now, it's mostly knitting. But the other thing is, while you get the yarn specific to the pattern, you don't have to do it that way. You can stockpile it, which I have done with most of the yarn clubs I've ever been in. <laughs> But in saying that, it's because I didn't come with a pattern. I didn't know what to make with it. So I'm hoping this will make it more fun for you all. And I also, I'm fully, fully cognizant of the fact that most people can't knock out a lace shawl every month. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't sign up for a few months and then pause and sign up for a few months. So, you know, it's one of those things. Um, Oh, Kim says, I think you should run a competition to name your yarn ninja. Oh, well, I haven't talked about that at all, have I? Um, those of you that follow me on the various social medias or hit my website or whatever, um, I've rebranded. Uh, I have, as of yesterday, started rolling it out. I'm noticing little instances where it's still appearing with the other logo in different places. So I'm like, oh, quick, change it, fix it. 
Um, so yeah, and I've just realized the watermark that's going to come up on this video is also going to be the old one. So I'll have to, I'll have to look into changing that as well. Um, so yeah, so I now have what's being commonly, commonly, is it commonly being nicknamed as a yarn ninja? Um, uh, yeah, a, P, a PITA is a pain in a, is, is a pain in the region of the bum. Um, so for those of you that want to know what a Peter is, um, it's, it's what we call in Australia. Uh, but yeah, so, sorry, where was I, what was I saying? I wish I could rewind it and work out what I was saying. Um, <laughs> everyone's jumping in with what it is. That's awesome. It means difficult. <laughs> but oh, yes, yarn ninja. Um, so I think it's, I think it's being commonly nicknamed a yarn ninja. Um, here we go. Tanya was saying, hi, I was waiting for the live chat to start and it wouldn't refresh, but now I'm in. Yay, I'm glad you're in, Tanya. Um, Kim's saying it's a type of red. Oh, well, Kim, you're awesome. You are, I have to just wiggle back on my chair a bit. Um, so yes, yeah, so I don't know if I've run a naming competition just yet. I might, I'll think about it. Give me a day. Give me a day to think about it and I'll decide from there. Um, Tanya, you have missed everything. You've missed all, no, you haven't. Yeah, you've missed some things, but you can always go back and rewatch later on. Um, what are we at? We're about we're 10, it's, it's, we've been running for 30 minutes. Um, Nerdy Stitcher is, says that 100, is it a million USD? Um, I don't know, the, I've, I've lost. So, um, yeah, so the new logo is rolling out and I know it's very different to what, um, oh, thank you, Christine. Christine has just popped up a message saying people need to press the like button and she's totally correct. Smash the like button really hard, you guys. You're doing great. Um, so yeah, so I've been rolling out my new, sorry, sidetracked, sidetracked, rolling out the new logo. Um, I think I've got it pretty well everywhere now. Um, so you need to, if you spot the old logo anywhere, uh, let me know, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or, or wherever, and I will try to rectify that. I think I've got most of them. I had a list. I've done all the ones on the list. So uh, that doesn't mean everything, because I realized last night that while I changed it on the website, there's another place in the website to change it, and all the invoicing was going out with the old logo on it. So I was just like, fix that. Um, Nerdy Stitcher said, what in, what in tarnation is a YRN? Is that yarn round needle? Um, are, are you knitting Nerdy Stitcher? Cause it's like a, it's like a yarn over, except if you're in pearls. Um, Kim says, make sure you smash it and uneven. Very good, Kim. Very good. Keep, keep smash that like button, like an uneven number of times so that it leaves a like. Good call. You're clever. Not like quite like me. Mm. So yeah. So um, old logo right there. Yeah. Oh, so I have changed my old logo on Google, but it takes a little while for it to change because I've got a, it's a business thing through them. And sometimes it takes a little while for their system to um, send it to all the different Google accounts and it's going to, and it'll change them all at once. So it's getting there, it's getting there. So we've got 10 likes and we've got 21 people watching. So uh, apparently it's not, it's, it's not everyone likes what they're seeing is all it can boil down to. So that's fair enough. That's a fair call. That's a fair call. Um, we're going to be giving away the Milky Way yarn very soon. So for those of you that don't know, Milky Way is beautiful silk. Um, oh, the watermark in the video. Yes, totally. I realized once I started this stream that I needed to go in and change that. Um, I'll turn it into a ninja. Um, I will write that down. I'm going to write it down right now, Kim. I can see 21 likes. Oh, can you? Let me have a look here. I can't see any because I can't, I don't get to see them yet. Um, I'm just going by what someone said. Um, Nerdy Stitcher said 10 likes. Oh, unless Nerdy Stitcher meant she'd done 10 likes. Um, I'm here waiting on the mail. Alba's waiting on the mail. There you go. Um, uh, what am I doing? Oh, change the watermark on YouTube. Change the watermark. 
on YouTube. Good call. Thank you, Kim. Um, Andrew says, I've just messaged my mum and I don't know what her excuse is today. Just to let you know, Andrew, I got a message from Gracie last night letting me know that she wasn't going to be able to join the live chat today because she had to go to school. So I thought that was very sweet. Abby just doesn't care. Abby's like, whatevs. Um, so actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it's morning tea for her and she jumps in and is cheeky and leaves cheeky comments because that's what she tends to do. Okay, so um, Milky Way. Back to Milky Way. <laughs> Today is terrible, you guys. Um, Milky Way yarn is a gorgeous, gorgeous, un this one's undyed, so it's a natural honey. I would say it's a light honey to a creamy color. Pure silk, pure silk. Oh, and oh, Andrea, your mum's here. Um, uh, it's pure silk, it's 500 yards to 100 grams, or it comes out to be 457 meters. So with one of these, it goes a really long way. It makes a beautiful, beautiful drapey shawl. Um, it's technically classed as a sport weight. It's softly plied. So those of us that do hand stitching, you can treat it a little bit like um, stranded cotton. If you cut yourself a, you know, a, a shorter length, like I can't do this in this, this much. If you cut yourself a, sh a shorter length, then you would, um, then you can actually split it apart and hand sew with it. It's so strong. It's wonderful. Um, Grace says that you said you would miss her. I totally, I am missing her. Um, and you told, oh, and I told her that you just said that so Grace wouldn't feel bad. That's mean. I'm going to send her a message. I'm going to direct message her. Um, Kim says, I think I have some of that. I think I'm pretty sure you do, Kim. Um, oh yeah, oh, you have. I know you've definitely got tadpole, which is a lace weight, which is different. It's a different, it's a different make. Um, uh, pure silk, nom nom nom. Love the Milky Way, like counter cross stitch. You can totally use it for counter cross stitch, hand quilting, embroidering. You can treat it like any other silk thread, basically. Um, so this is, it's like a sport weight and there's eight plies of silk in it. I think there's eight. Where's an end? Where's an end so I can look at it? I don't have an end. Anyway, I think there's either six or eight strands like stranded cotton. There's a lot and you can get a lot out of it. Um, dude, oh, so the RAV page, it says for is a light fingering weight. I'll have to double check that, but I think it's more of a, I don't know, I'm thinking the opposite way. It is, it's a light fingering sport is more about 300 meters sorry i get i my brain mixes things up but it's it is it's a light fingering way i would have worked it out properly to put it on ravelry trust ravelry over me any day honestly um allegra says which is one of my favorite yarn weights me too nerdy says i love dk all of a sudden really because it's freezing where you are you need dk so badly uh, it's one of those things. Oh my gosh. It's totally one of those things. Um, Andrea says, Grace would love that. She'd feel special and then she'd rub my face in it because she got a message from you. <laughs> oh, I love it. I totally have to do it. Daughter against mom. Clash. <laughs> then your place could be like mine. Um, uh, Allegra says, Mahaha, sneaky way to post links. Hmm. I. I, I do you know a sneaky way to post links? Um, if you want a link posted, I uh, believe that Kim can do that for you if, she, if she's, you know, able. Um, forget DK, I need bulky here in Chicago. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. You guys, are, like, we're seeing it in the news, like in Australian news, how freezing you you guys are. Oh, oh it's it's. It's absolutely insane, some of the stuff that we're seeing. Um, yeah, it's it just looks bitterly cold in so many places, even in places that don't normally get bitterly cold. So I'm just, I suppose it's a bit like our summer at the moment. It's crazy. Um, Kim says, send Shirley a message too, and then you can have them all fighting, mother, daughter, and grandmother at it. We could start a whole YouTube channel just on riling up families about yarn and web things right that would be fun um allegro uh oh kim's asking what what link do i need to post i think allegra wants a, a milky way but i could be wrong 
Uh, it seems to wrap.